Welcome back to Good Show Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Windows 11 slow startup problem, slow boot up on Windows 11, and how we can fix this up. So let's get started. So first thing, what you have to do is just have to click over here in the search, and you have to search for power and sleep setting. You have to search for power and sleep setting. You have to open this. From here, you have to navigate to additional power settings. And from here you have to select choose what the power buttons do and you just have to select this and you have to do a cross check over here this is what you have to do just do this and once it is done just follow the next instruction so what you have to do is just close this and the next one is all about you have to search for Windows PowerShell you have to search for Windows PowerShell now as you can see that the PowerShell is here so now run as administrator and go for yes now you have to give a command which is as follows which is power cfg space slash hibernate space on then you just have to press enter now you just have to exit okay this is what you have to do once it is done what you have to do is you just have to follow the next instruction followed by this which is you just have to uh, search here for task manager you have to search here for task manager and run it as administrator and from here you have to navigate to startup over here at the top and now as you can see that these are any in the background so for example you just have to select these things which is not needed you just have to uh, disable these completely and uh, you have to select these and you have to completely see whether the unimportant things has to be completely done off from here you have to disable these each one of things okay as you can see that you have to disable these okay you just have to disable and once it is done keep on doing for keep it for almost all and keep it for only the needed one rest things you have to disable okay once it is done you just have to follow the next instruction is very simple one where you have to search for device manager you have to search for device manager and you have to open this now from here you have to navigate to display adapters here have to click on this and expand and you have to right click on this make sure that it is on the latest version of which is updated which is very important so you have to make sure it that and once it is on the latest version of update you just have to close this there is nothing much we're just doing a cross check and also after that if it's not working then we have solution two solutions has to be done which is turn off windows feature on or off you have to select this now from here you have to now keep on scrolling and navigate to uh, folder named which this one windows subsystem for linux in most cases this will be ticked so what you have to do is make sure if it is ticked you have to untick this because i have already done this you have to check here whether it is uh, ticked or not ticked so if it is ticked you have to untick this and go for ok ok and the last and the least step which i would like to make a notice is you just have to uh, go to here you have to search over here which is control panel you have to search for control panel you have to open this now from here you have to select system and security you have to select system and security and from here you have to select system you have to select system and from here you have to select advanced system settings from here you have to click on settings once again and from here you have to click on advanced and from here you have to navigate to over here and you have to change and you have to untick this and you have to click on custom size where you have to give the values okay the values are 1407 for the initial and the maximum size which can be allowed to be 4079 and once it is done you just have to go for set because i'm not going to do the change because i'm not having any issue but for those who are having the issue you just have to go for set because if i click the set and go for okay it will ask you to ask me to do the restart but i'm not going to do that part hence we are on the video so you have to click over here and now you just have to go for a restart and most probably the issue will be completely fixed and i hope this series is helpful for you guys and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out